Hey, and welcome back to the channel. The last video I've posted for Call of Duty Warzone, PC crashes, actually helped a lot of people and I'm very happy about that. Um, it, what we did in that video is we adjusted the file paging system of Windows uh, so it could temporarily store files on the hard drive rather than in RAM. And it looked like it helped out quite a few people, but not everyone. So what I had told a lot of people in the comments is I would find Windows optimization techniques that might help them get the game running properly. It looks like it was the last update that caused a lot of issues for Windows users. So there is six different things that you can do in Windows to help optimize it. And we're gonna take a look at those right now. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Before we get started, here are the five things that we're looking at. Uh, now, I'm listing them here. They're also gonna be in the description below. So you can just jump ahead or jump back and forth wherever you wanna continue from. Uh, and try a different method. The first one is improve display settings. Then we're gonna modify the DPI settings. We're gonna adjust game mode. We're gonna kill background processes, enable ultimate power settings. So that's what we're looking at. And we'll get started with the first one, which is improve display settings. To get started, we're gonna click on the background. We're gonna right click on the background and go to display settings. Now inside display settings, we're gonna scroll down until we get to graphic settings. And it's near the bottom here. And we're gonna click on that. So now in here, we're gonna browse for our application, which is Warzone. And we're gonna click on the browse button. And you're gonna to go to the folder where it was installed. In my case, I didn't have enough space on my C drive. So I created a folder in my D drive. And inside here, we're gonna select the game and not the launcher. So you gotta make sure you're selecting the actual game. The launcher is the other file here. Uh, click on add and now it's added there we go and now you can see it's added here now we're going to click on options and we're going to select high performance so what this is going to do is it's going to allocate all the video resources to this application while it's running so that's the first one next we're going to be modifying the dpi settings and what dpi stands for is dots per inch the more enhancing we do for dots per inch uh, the cleaner the resolution the sharper the picture is going to be so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the folder where we installed the game in our case, we installed it in the D drive because we didn't have any room in our C drive. And we're gonna scroll down until we find the application and not the launcher. We gotta make sure that we're actually selecting the application itself, which is the larger file of the two. Right click on it and go to properties. Inside the properties, we're gonna look for the compatibility tab. We're gonna click on that and then we're gonna go down to the bottom where it says change high DPI settings. We're gonna select this button right here and we get another window open and we're gonna go down to the bottom and check high scaling override so when we select this we're making sure that the application is selected in the drop down list here okay so that's we hit apply and okay and that takes care of the modifying the dpi settings now we're going to adjust the game mode so in order for us to do that click on start and in the search we can type in we can type in game mode and there it is as an option and the first thing that we have is the game mode option is on uh, we're going to leave that one on, but we're going to be turning off all the other settings. We want to make sure that we're concentrating the focus just on the game and not all these other things when they're running. So on the left-hand side, you can take a look at the menus here. Uh, we're leaving this one on. Now the game bar we don't want, so we're going to turn it off. And game bar is the little thing that allows you to record the games as you play. It looks sort of like this. Inside captures, we're gonna make sure that everything in here is turned off and not selected. So uncheck, scroll down, make sure they're all off. And game mode, this is the first option that we saw when we came in, we're leaving it on. And everything else is as is, and we can just close out of the window. Now we're gonna enable the ultimate power settings. Now this feature is not enabled by default, we have to run a command. So we're gonna go into the command prompt and we're gonna run it as administrator. You can do that by right clicking on it then say yes to the prompt. And then inside the command prompt, I'm just gonna open up my text file here and I'm gonna copy this command in and then I'm gonna paste it. There it is on the screen. Paste it in, hope you remember it, hit enter. Just kidding, I'm gonna put it in the description. Uh, hit enter, it's now gonna activate this um, feature in the power settings. So what we can do is we can close out of this window and we're gonna go find it now. So we're gonna find it by clicking on start, go to settings, inside system, you're gonna see power and sleep on the left-hand side, and then additional power settings on the right-hand side. Click on that. And now we have a feature called ultimate performance. So that wasn't there before, we just activated it. So now by clicking on it, we're now saving this feature. And what you can do is you can close out of all the windows, 
And by doing so, we are running the ultimate power settings. And the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna kill all background processes before we start the game. So we're gonna go into our task manager by right clicking on the start bar and going in here and under the apps category, we have a couple extra things running. Like we don't need Discord running, we don't need Google Chrome. So we can right click on it and at end task and kill those off. We're just saving up as much resources as possible. Now below it, we have background processes, which we, I don't, wouldn't, I wouldn't go too much into this. So if you notice something that you're actually not using, like maybe Adobe, and you just want to kill that off, go ahead and do so. Uh, but anything else, just leave it as is. And then what you can do is go into the startup tab. And in the startup tab, you really don't need a lot of things to start up when your computer starts up. So a lot of these applications that are enabled, you can actually disable, like the Java update scheduler. We don't need that right now. Um, and like my Logitech update software. There's a bunch of software that's listed in here that you don't actually need Cortana. What do you need that for? Um, you can just disable these and they, and you can, if you actually do need them, you can reactivate them by just clicking on them and running them only when you need to. So by default, I disable almost everything. And now you can just close out of there and we're ready to start up a warfare and see if it runs better. So you can try all these steps out or you can try some of the steps out. Let me know which ones are working. And before I sign off right now, I just want to say thank you for watching and supporting my videos. Over the last month, I've gotten overwhelming amount of support and views and it's really starting to take off. And that's all because of you guys. So thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So again, thank you and I'll catch you on the next one.